Do you remember what happens to seeds after germination? The part that grows above the soil is called the shoot system and the part that grows underground is the root system. The shoot system consists of branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. At the end of this module, you will be able to explain how roots are modified for storage of food, support and respiration, explain how stems are modified for storage of food and additional support, explain how leaves are modified for storage of food, support and protection. Roots have two primary functions fixation and absorption. Roots fix the plant to the ground and act as an anchor. Roots absorb nutrients and water necessary for plant growth from the soil. Sometimes, to adapt to their surroundings, roots are modified to perform additional functions. Roots may be modified to perform four main additional functions. They are storage, additional support, respiration, additional absorption. These familiar vegetables grow under soil. But did you know that they are modified tap roots? The tap roots here are swollen due to accumulation of food. Plants store the excess food and utilize it when there is a shortage. The swollen roots are called tuberous roots. Banyan tree has aerial roots hanging vertically from its branches. And when they reach the ground, they act like pillars, giving that additional support the hugely branched tree needs. These aerial roots are called prop roots. Indian screw pine or pandanus plant has stilt roots. The plant develops roots that grow obliquely downwards. These roots act like stilts, providing mechanical support to the plant. Roots of orchids have amazing function. Their clinging roots provide additional support. Some orchids have aerial roots that are photosynthetic too. The conical spikes that you see protruding out around these trees are the modified roots. These roots are found in marshy places where they cannot get enough oxygen from the soil. So these roots grow upward and help the tree to respire. These roots are called pneumatophores or breathing roots. Money plant has long slender feeder roots that help in absorbing additional nutrients and water from the soil. Observe the feeder roots of money plant on a tree bark. Feeder roots make money plant a monstrously growing plant in tropical countries. We now move on to the shoot system. Let's begin with the stem. The primary functions of a stem are transportation of fluid and nutrients to different parts of the plant and providing support. Sometimes the stems are modified for performing additional functions. Stems of some plants grow underground and store food. Underground stems can be classified into tubers, bulbs and rhizomes. Tubers are stems that are roughly spherical in shape and may have buds or eyes on them that can develop into new plants. Bulbs are conical stems that are fleshy and consist of fibrous roots. Rhizomes grow horizontally under the soil and have scaly leaves which are often brown in color. Can you guess where the stem of this cactus plant is? Yes, the green part, which can be easily mistaken for a leaf, is actually a stem. It has nodes and spines. The thick green stem stores a lot of water. These stems are modified to prepare food. This modification 
helps the plant to survive in dry desert conditions. Some plants like passion flower, pumpkin, bitter gourd have weak stems that need support. To help the plant coil around a support, the stems are modified into wiry tendrils. Tendrils coil around a support to help the plant climb. When a tendril comes in contact with an object, it turns and wraps around the object, clinging to it for support. We all know that the primary function of the leaves is photosynthesis. Leaves of some plants are modified to perform specialized secondary functions such as storage of food, mechanical support, defense against grazing animals, and prey catching. Let us see some examples for each of these. In a pea plant, the leaflets are modified into a wiry leaf tendril. These tendrils twine around other objects to support the plant. Aloe leaves are modified to store water. In prickly poppy, the leaves are modified into spines for defense against grazing. Cacti have spines that are actually leaves, modified to help in reducing the loss of water in desert plants. Water lilies have flat and large leaves to help them float on water. The most unique modification is seen in carnivorous plants like the Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant. Here, the leaves are modified to trap and digest small animals. We have come to the end of this module on plant modification.